Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to clone Basil the cheapest and easiest way. I've done this quite a few times uh, and have gotten really good success rate. So, uh, and I've done this for a while and uh, really think this is probably one of the easiest way and also the cheapest way. So I'd, I'd like to share this with everyone. Um, what are you, uh, the things you're going to need are uh, just a basil plant, if you have any. And if you don't have any, you can probably go and find them at a, a, a grocery store, uh, some fresh basil. Uh, Whole Foods have some hydroponic basil that they sell, so you can buy that. Or if you have a friend that that have uh, you know a basil tree, uh, you can ask just to cut a branch off. And this particular one, I cloned it and have grown this completely in this Ziploc bag for probably um, maybe a month or so, and it's gotten pretty tall and it's already seeding right there so I'm going to leave all of these flowers on there so that I can collect the seeds uh, later when it's ready uh, from this particular tree I have cloned up tons of uh, basil from and here's an example of the two that I've done already and as you can see they're completely um, just grown in a ziploc bag and nice and healthy looking and you can leave this in a ziploc bag in some way and just let it grow or you can transplant that into the ground or if you have a hydroponic kit system set up you can put that in there and just like this one so um, um, so you need uh, a basil tree uh, uh, something that is on, you grow or you can buy it uh, a pair of scissors, you're going to have to cut one of the branch off. Um, some rooting hormone. This is the uh, fast root from Michael Grill, uh, Miracle Grill. And you can find this at Home Depot. Uh, rock wool. Just any rock wool that you can buy from any hydroponic store. Ziploc bag. And the one I use are the, uh, the preferably the clear one. Uh, this is the up and up that I bought from Target. They're really, really cheap. And so first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a branch and just cut it off uh, at about uh, just a, uh, a good length. So this one is. I'll just take this one here. So I'll cut it at around here. Not sure you can see that, but I'll cut it at an angle. See if I can do this with one hand. There you go. So this is what you have. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off all of the leaves that are hanging on the side like that and you can go ahead and cut off that one also it's really difficult to do this with one hand so all right so that is what I'm gonna have left uh, if you like to you can also cut these leaves in half so that it doesn't spend all of his energy trying to grow the leaves and focus on rooting just like that and there's really not um, any art to this it's, it's just as simple as that so you have a, a cutting it there that's about 45 degree angle cut all of the leaves off and the cut the, the bottom cutting uh, you want that to be sort of near the the node area um, it, 
it to, I find that it, it helps it uh, root quickly and become successful when you're cloning and the top you can just leave it like that then you will have your rock wool uh, soak the rock wool in water um, a lot of people like to do it in pH balanced water but I don't really do that I just soak this in faucet water it doesn't matter I've done it a ton of times and it, it worked just fine so I, I've already soaked this and um, you, you know use something to kind of create a nice hole there then you're gonna take your cutting and dip this in the powder just like so shake off the excess and then just place that in here push it down a little and then kind of force that hole there to close just like so and then once you're done you can put this into your Ziploc bag so this Ziploc bag would sort of act as a, a greenhouse uh, to give this good enough heat like that, have it stand stand up correctly. Uh, let's see, I can't do that with one hand, but there we go. Like that. Then you would put that under some good, uh, some you know, somewhere there is some good lighting, and then in a few days it's gonna it's gonna uh, probably take a week to root and you can tell because the uh, in, in the first maybe the first day the leaf may shrivel a little bit but then the, the, the day two it's it will start to pick up and then from there within a week you should have roots just like there this this has been longer than a week but that's basically what it's gonna look like um, then you can just leave it and pour uh, nutrients water into this and just don't drown it just put it to like around the bottom or just soak the the rock wool really well and it's it's just gonna keep growing and you can transplant that into uh, your hydroponic system if you like or if you if you want to experiment like I did you just leave it inside the, the ziploc bag and uh, put it in the base some kind some way it could be stationed and it'll and give it good lights and it'll grow just like this this whole basil tree has been grown inside a ziploc bag and it's already uh, having tons of flowers and from this tree i've cloned tons of other basil um some i've already given away and these are the two that i've done uh, a few weeks ago and they they're grown really tall and really nice i can probably pick at the leaves and they can keep going but yeah if you, if you that's that's pretty much there it's all to uh, propagating or cloning basil uh, it's, it's very very easy and um, this method is is probably the cheapest way because you probably already have all the the, the materials and and inside a ziploc bag you don't need any dome or anything like that and uh, you're all set um, this is pretty much it for the uh, cloning basils. I uh, hope this helped. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions uh, or comments, just let me know. Alright.